Hey, Chris Menard here. I've got a great video in Excel on a new Excel function called Group By. So I saw this on the M365 Insiders page right here. This is currently only available for beta channel users, but it is for Windows and the Mac. There's actually two new functions. There's Group By and Pivot By. I'm doing Group By today. I'll do Pivot By in another video. I'll also put a link to this page down in the YouTube description. What is cool is there's only three arguments that are required, but they have a lot of arguments. So a lot of cool stuff in here. Let's dive in right now to the group by function. I have Excel pulled up. Here is my data. I'm gonna be uh, featuring, I'm gonna be working on column B, the car brands. I will use column C also. And I'll probably use revenue and cost in this example. Just in case you're wondering how many records do I have, I've got 1,063 records because the top row is the header row. So let's go ahead and do group by example number one. Here you go, group by. Notice all the arguments, only the first three are required. What is it you wanna group by? I'm gonna do B1 through B1064. I could have highlighted with the mouse. I could have also changed this range to a table. Before I did this, I decided to leave it as a range. Comma, argument number two, what is it you wanna sum up? I wanna sum up the revenue, that is E1 through E1064. Make sure those match. And then here's where it gets really, really cool. What is it you want to do with this what excel function look at all the excel functions we have down below including one of my favorites the median but this is a really really long list if you don't see a function in here you want to use you can go and write your own function which is cool i'm going to use sums i'm just going to hit tab since it's selected and enter my data spills down i was playing in here so that's why acura is bold also, just so you know this, I highlighted these numbers and gave them comma format with no decimals. They didn't show up that way by default. Really cool. There's my totals. My grand total is 35195 Highlight the revenue column. Look down in the bottom right corner in the status bar. You'll see 35195400 Perfect. Let's go look at some other arguments in here. So I can easily, by the way, I'm going to go back to sum. Get rid of it. If it doesn't show you the function list, alt down arrow when you clear that out, but make sure I'm still on the function. Percentage of, watch what this does. You're saying, Chris, it didn't do anything. <laughs> it did. I just need to go format these. There is your percentage of right there. That is pretty cool. I'm just going to undo and get back to the sum. Keep it easy. There we go. Back over here, what else do you want to do? I want to include the cost column. That would be column F. And now I've got the cost column in here right there. And again, I've already formatted these numbers. So if you're saying, Chris, how come the totals aren't showing? Well, that is another argument. After the word sum, the third argument, comma, there are the four arguments for your headers. And it even says filled header and bold. I'm going to say number three, yes and show. There is brand, revenue, and cost. I could make it bold. I'm not going to. Also, because I was manually formatting, I may have missed something there. There you go. With the formatting, the numbers are correct. Back over here. Um, in case you want to try one of these next ones, cool right here. What totals do you want to see? A lot of these are not going to work. The grand totals will work, by the way. We're already getting grand totals. But the subtotals are not going to work. I'm going to tell you why. I'm only looking at the car brands. I need to look at something else along with them. So here we go again. Instead of B1 to B1064, I need to pick up two fields here. So now we got brand, rep, revenue, and cost. Now the subtotals will work. So this is very similar to pivot tables uh, when you have two items in the rows area. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. So now when we come over here, alt down arrow, grand totals, I'm going to pick number two. 
I want to see grand totals and subtotals. So I did have to put in two columns over here with the B1 to C164. Watch this cool trick. Brand rep revenue cost up in the top. Look at Acura. Notice Acura below Susan Smith is empty because I am getting subtotals for Acura right there. Really cool feature. And if I go to the bottom down here, let's just take a quick peek. There are my grand totals. So that was option two on the grand totals. Let's see what else we have in here. Let's do uh, grand totals and subtotals at the top. That is a negative two. I see grand total, 35 million, and I see an accurate subtotal of 3,063. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. So there's that feature right there. A uh, couple other features. Let me go and turn off these grand totals and subtotals. Let's just say no. back here. So I've got that one. Let's do another comma. Hey, we got a sort order. This one's the one that may throw you. I've got four fields that I'm using. What do you want to sort by? Because right now it looks like it's sorting by brand, which is the first column. I want to sort by revenue. That is my third column that I picked up. So I'm going to do a three. And if you look in here, there is Fiat first, 206 to 870. Then we pop into the Acura, in case you're wondering, just like you're saying, Chris, it's not working. Yes, it is working. I can come over here, in case you're wondering. I don't want to sort in ascending order. To do descending, let me just back through here again, alt down. You don't get any tips here either, by the way. Something else I just noticed. This is in beta, so they may come back and figure out um, some, some information so you know. So here I go. So if I want to sort in descending, it is a negative three. So now I've got Mazda first in descending order. Then we start with the GM in descending order. So it is working. And I think we got one more in here. I'm going to turn off the sort, by the way. Uh, comma. Do you want to filter anything? I am making this up. Let's say for some reason I do not want to see Acura. Uh, I'm going to do B1 colon B1064. Not equal to A-C-U-R-A. There is no Acura in here. I did a filter and no Acura. I could go the other way and filter and say I only want to see something, by the way, if I wanted to. Really cool function. You're saying, Chris, can I just do this with a pivot table? Sure. Here's why it's so cool. Let me pull that Acura back in here, by the way, real quick. Get rid of that. All right, Acura's back. Notice that Acura for Art Vandelay is 666830. Here is Acura Art Vandelay. I am just making this up to prove that it works. Watch that cell K. Three change immediately. Unlike a pivot table where I've got to change the data, no big deal changing the data, I've got to remember to refresh my pivot tables. Over here, this is immediate. I can see the results immediately. I know that they're correct. Great, great function here, the group by function. Feel free to add any comments or questions down below in the description box or in the uh, comments box. If you're interested, my Microsoft Excel online training course is available. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe, ring the bell. Have a great day.